Can you guys see me? Can you guys hear me? Everything going good? Can you guys see me? Can you guys hear me? Everything going good? Alright, let's quickly type in. How are you doing? How are you doing? Here you go. Nice and easy, man. Lacker, man. Lacker. Nice to have you guys back again for um, session number three. And hopefully this can become something regular. Something regular. I posted at the topics, topics down at the bottom over there. So those are the main things which we'll probably be talking about. For in case you're wondering, I think it's always a good idea so you guys know what direction this specific session is going into. What we will cover basically in this hour. And um, yeah, so let's hear your thoughts. What are you guys vaping on tonight? Share your devices and share your atomizers. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Then I'll show you mine. You show me yours, I'll show you mine. Do it. Right, echo in the sound. Yeah, the echo is gone. Um, I removed the, the, the... I actually had the YouTube video also on, which I actually forgot to close. So the sound should be, should be good now. Um, when you're making a video on the breeze next, what breeze? The old breeze, the breeze too. This breeze. This guy. Oh, you're talking about the new breeze. I don't know, I'm so tired of pods, man. And there's a problem regarding pods. And that problem is South Africa <laughs> actually brought out a very flippin' nice pod. And it is this guy. It is called The Click. Now, you overseas guys probably wouldn't know this company. It's called Twisp. It is a local, is lacquer company. Which means it is endemic to South Africa. And then they brought out this little guy. And let's just quickly... I've also got my camera functions here. So we can... Uh, Bring it up closely and focus for you, so you can actually see there. Here you go. That's it, that's it, that's it. Right. So this guy's called a Click, and it's actually a very, very nice vape. The smallest battery, I mean, it's still sub 400 milliamps per hour, but... Mm -mm. Gives, uh, gives you a very nice hit, very nice. And it comes in these little guys. They sent me all these little fla flavorings. So if you want to see what actually one of these pods look like, let's quickly open up something which, which I think... Mm, which I think you might like. Just to show you what these little pods look like. Anywho. And it's a very nice little setup. They will actually see. You see a little silicone plug at the bottom. Um, check out that little, there's a little silicone pluggy, which you actually pull, a little string. And that little guy, you pull, gently pull out until you rip it out totally. And then you put it in the pod. Okay? Like so. Now this one's already ripped out. And then you just put it in the pod, leave this guy for 10 minutes, Bob's your uncle, good to go. So yeah, it's small capacity, but it's loaded with salt, Nick. Um, I think you get a smooth, which is 30 milligrams, and then you get a regular which is 45 milligrams, but it's very smooth, but damn, you feel that nicotine. So yeah, um, 250 puffs on this little guy, very nice. And later on, we'll talk about that Make Life um, Rotel, 80 watt, I will show you pitch. And I think that is the only part which are currently missing. So there's a reason, and we'll talk about that just now, I will actually get that. So the, the breeze, I'm not too, too worried about, not too worried about. Um, Oh, bar pick. Okay, this echo, okay, echo's gone, that it's doing fine. Bad echo, bad echo, is there still an echo? Vaporation gen with a fatality M25, having some gorilla milk from JJ's. Yeah, there it is. You'll see there's logos on that side. There's Vapology, and then there's Juicy J's, and there's Dinner Lady. Now, the reason why I've got those guys, I decided from this session onwards, if there's um, vendors which want me to, which basically want to sponsor this a, sp a specific session, they can send the juice, they can send a set of coils, and um, books, the logo goes up there for the whole session. And this is what Juicy Joe is actually given. These are two juices. Um, I'm vaping this guy more than I'm actually vaping this guy. Now, not that this guy is not a good juice, but it's not my type of profile. It is a bubble gum with a basically. We're going to say a, a, a subtleness of blueberry in there, 
and then they've also added some ice to it but it's a bit of a tangy ice i initially thought it's a bit of spearmint in the bottom but it's actually an ice which has got a wicky wax type of vibe to it though no harshness goes down smoothly just on my type of profile but there's a lot of people that's going to like it i know bart Beck, he digs it that out there at the top bart Beck loves this but this guy this guy is very good um it's not often you find a banana custard milkshake and you also don't often find a banana and a custard which has been blended so well so i'm not a desserty guy but this guy i've got in my tokugawa and any juice which i put in my tokugawa is a good juice <laughs> it's a good juice so yeah in case you're wondering this is the duff po v this is the duff po v and then obviously this monkey nut i'm still using that so let's check out there's david nadir's in there it's still echoing oh my word unbelievable how come there's an echo i just don't understand it that's just plain and simply weird and i mean the youtube video is closed down it's crazy man it's crazy i tell you i can't believe can't believe it's broken but can you guys at least deal with the echo it's not that you can't hear me okay um yeah this this guy gives a damn good hit i mean three four puffs on this thing and hello there he takes you back to the beatles just want to sing some of those old woodstock tunes also so in any case hi philly welcome um Okay, let's quickly go on to the first thing. <clears throat> now, because there are squonkers out there, and they haven't actually released a decent or interesting squonker for quite a while, I checked out that Aegis squonk mod. And the reason why I actually why I picked it up or noticed it is I ordered the Aegis Legend Limited Edition, the blue one, that with a nice logo on the side as well. I've always wanted an agent, uh, Aegis because of its ruggedness, the fact that you can drop the thing and it's just so awesome. And I was waiting for a nice dual battery version to come out. And then that legend came out, the limited edition, which I really liked. And then when I ordered that, I actually saw this, this thing on the page. So I can quickly show you what this guy looks like. And then you can decide for yourself if it's something which you would invest in. So yeah, there you've got a pick of it. That's it from the side. The Aegis Squonk. No problems over there. There you'll see a little latch on the left hand side at the top. Which means there's no bottles which you take out on this guy. You just open that latch and you throw in your juice. Bob's your uncle. So that, that little pick. Let me show you another one of this. This guy I'm sure you are very much interested in this. Okay. There's another picture of it. Let's just take it down a bit there. It looks normal there. There the latch is actually open, which you can actually see you pull it open, so you just fall from that side. Which I think is, is cool beans, for sure. Hi Shane. You can hear but sounds a bit like you whooping. That is strange. That is totally weird. Okay, let's just quickly try something here. Let's just quickly see. Studio settings. Let's see Bangla Crop Nomadic Settings and Default Fast Simple Microphone. That is the road. That's it. Okay, let's just quickly open up these sounds. Let's go there. That sucks as balls. Okay, open sound settings. Let's check out that quickly. Okay, let's quickly switch. Okay, can you guys hear me now? Is it is it better? Definitely better now. Can I have an amen on the better? Well, it's the Rode microphone, but it's obviously... Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Uncle Beans, man. Uncle Beans. Smooth sailing. All right, let's quickly show you another one of the ages. Anyway, what? And you guys can decide what you think of this little monkey nut. And there it is. In its full glory. And then the last picture is of the atomizer itself. So you can actually see. 
There you go. There's the atomizer. So you can actually see you can build across. <clears throat> so both legs on either side do not share the same post hole. So that is probably cool about that. But in any case, if you guys are going to buy this thing, deciding on getting, <laughs> getting this, I, I personally will give this guy a skip. And the reason why I'm going to give it a skip, if there's one thing I hate, I'd be quickly show you. Now, one of my smallest 18650 mods is this guy. And I really like this guy. But then it's got that flippin' battery door. Oh my word. Don't these things suck. I especially had to order one because the previous one stripped. And now, I'm just too worried that it strips again. I've permanently got a battery inside this thing. Just in case. I'll just charge the battery through that and put a model on there when I use it. Though. But oh, when I saw this guy's also got that same type of door, I decided, nah. Nah. Definitely not. Definitely not. For sure. So, all right. Getting back to the juices, though. Um, let's quickly get another pick over here, which is more interesting. Um, okay. Before I put on another pick, you can just quickly watch that guy. Um, so, these guys are still going to be launched soon, though. And um, let's close over there. And I'm sure that I don't think Juicy Joe's is going to. Shane is inside the chat over there. He can quickly confirm whether he's going up to um, Vapecon. Whether it's going to be launched at Vapecon or whether it's going to be launched at Juicy Joe's this weekend or next weekend. But these two juices. But I'll definitely recommend you to actually test these two guys. Because as I said, both interesting, very interesting profiles, especially this guy. But this is a very nice smooth banana. It's not a custard which is in your face. Absolutely. The custard banana blend is very, very good. And then that creaminess actually comes through. So yeah, that's awesome. Now, in case you're wondering about this set. <laughs> now, oh, I was expecting a different ice range, which I actually saw on the website when they asked me to have a look at juices, which I would think I'd be interested in. And then they sent me the same fruit range as what I previously tested, but just the ice versions of that. Uh, in any case, so yeah, in the, at first, I didn't like this lemon ice, well, the lemon without the ice, but now lemon is actually nice. The ice actually improved the lemon flavor. And the same with the watermelon. So out of these things, I enjoy those two. But the others, no, nah, the others I, I don't like. Not at all. It's not, not nice. But in any case, so if you go out, you can welcome to go and test those things, but no, no, not my cup of tea. In any case, I like my Ages Legend, currently sporting a Kelpie full of mixed berries with cream. Yes, 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 my Kelpie is here somewhere. Ah, my Kelpie is, is, is also here. Um, evening, Dave and everyone else. Echoing is back. Those batteries. Which batteries? Which batteries? Rip, how's it, Kazel? Hi, Ronaldo. Um, we're not making it this year. Okay, Shane and them. So launching next Friday, 6th September, countrywide. So there you've got it there. And then you can go and test these non non juices out there by Juicy Jazz. Um, license a UK e liquid producer. How much nick are you vaping? Um, I vape sometimes one, sometimes zero, but mostly two, two milligrams. I've got in, in the habit of, of um, vaping two. Now, I've made a few juices for somebody today which wanted six milligrams free base, and I have to test before I actually send them out. And that, that's too much for me. That just gives me a heavy kick. So yeah, but we'll talk about free base nicotine versus salt um, nicotine a bit later though, because that was actually a question which actually popped up. So we'll check that out. Um, would you recommend the Smock Alien? <laughs> I still got my Smock Alien. <laughs> there it is, but you'll see mine looks a bit strange. The reason why mine's strange, this, this was a black one. So the problem with the smock aliens is the paint. The paint job is useless. Now I know some people smock aliens and died, but this guy is extremely old and it still works. It still works. So all I actually do because I'm I'm a biology teacher and I've got access to steel wool, fine steel wool and acids, I removed all the black paint and gave it this grey shape. But yeah, mine hasn't given me any issues. But I know there's people that do not like smoke and there's people that do like smoke. But I still got my alien and it still works. Would you recommend the smoke alien? Hi, Kazo. Your voice is sounding double for me. Ah, oh, man. I don't know. I don't know why it's doing that. I've got no, honestly, no idea. 
it's not supposed to do that what i can do is i can stop streaming and then i can restart the streaming if uh, you guys think that is an option a4 whether i must try that though stop and just restart the stream because it could be that i started the stream and had that youtube link open and then i closed it and the echo just continued so it might actually work okay there are very many very variations of nick and you need to find a reliable source yeah no, for lee that that is true um i'm also going to include at the bottom of the video when i'm done i'm going to include the articles about those well, I think it's a hundred and something people that have already been sick and one guy has died. But yeah, I posted the articles. Unfortunately, the media almost always blames vaping. Always. And if you actually then read the doctor's statements on the stuff, that the traces of what chemicals they actually found in the people's blood, what they bought on the street and what they were vaping. I mean, it was THC and there was other toxins which were inside these pots. So it's got nothing to do with juices which you actually go and buy at a reputable uh, vendor or do-it-yourself ingredients which you actually order from a decent um, f flavorant uh, supplier. Not at all. These guys were buying shady stuff off the street and they were buying the wrong stuff off the street and that's what happened. I mean, I've n had no issues with vaping since I've started. And I've been vaping for about five, four years now. And I know people that have been vaping for six years plus. And they feel better. They smell better. They wake up easier. They've got more energy. So I've got no, there's always some weirdness going on. But I'll include the, the, the links, direct links to the articles underneath the stream after I've uploaded. And then you're welcome to come and go and click on it and just go and check it, check it out. Absolutely. Yeah, it's toxic uh, THC cartridges, absolutely. But I see the whole the whole article is there, and except besides that as well, there are certain coils which were used by Chinese um, producers, which contain traces of lead. Now, you should know how poison poisonous lead is for a person. But in any case, that was also part part of the trick. But that's that is also the in, underneath in the articles. So in any case, if you look at the second topic, let's quickly check out there. Let's go back to our topics. And then we can see what is number next. Okay, now number next is going to be the issues regarding the vaporizer gen. Now that is something which somebody posted. And you'll actually see there's a stain Put it that way, there's a stain around your 510 assembly. Now, I've been using mine, what, two and a half weeks now? And I don't have that. I can actually show you up close. Just clean this guy. And then you can actually see. Judge for yourself. So, I've got no idea. Um, as you can see, I can even bring it closer. There you go. Nice and close. Okay. Do you see a discoloration on mine? Now, the thing is, I've got no idea what that guy was vaping. I've got no idea at what temperatures he was vaping. But I vape generally around 70 watts, and I have had no issue with discoloration around the ring. Whether it's going to happen later on, I've got no idea. But I know this guy is covered with four layers, and I'm not sure what they used for those four layers. So it could be that there are chemicals maybe in one of those layers that are sensitive to heat, and which discolors by uh, a lot of heat time. So if you've got one of these guys and you're willing to vape it at 120 to test the situation, then you're welcome. But I'm fine at my 70, 60 to 70 watts. I'm good. Um, yeah, it was THC cartridges. Absolutely. What would you recommend for a beginner box mod? Um, Pilot Boy, this. This little guy, which I reviewed the other day, is a very nice, cheap, entry box and this is the trip kit by uh, Vaporstorm. Vaporstorm the guys that brought out the Puma but very nice and light very nice and cheap and it functions it's got the basic functions there it works the coils I actually ordered I placed the order at 3A Vape yesterday and I actually ordered three more coils um, for the specific atomizer because I think it's got very nice flavor so yeah 
that is a nice nice option but you can also ask Shane there's a couple I think there's a couple of vendors inside the chat they will tell you these guys are they work in shops and they get to do with all types of clients from the people that know nothing to the people that know think they know everything um, so yeah yeah they would give you advice about what is a very good opening um, regarding now this one actually mentions the Torin um, there's Vaporizer Gen. Yeah, this guy is it's slightly more expensive though. Because for that whole kit, you can, you're going to pay around 900 Rand. Um, for this model, model loan, you're probably going to pay about 900 Rand. So yeah, it depends on what you want. So if you're willing to go up slightly, this is a better option. Because it's better looking and it's got a better feel as well. And it's got nicer functions as well. But yeah, if you don't have that drop 300, you're going to be able to get the trip kit. The Illuminati is behind the vaping ban going on in the USA. Yeah, but I've got to know about that. That's across the water. That's fine. Good afternoon for Costa Rica. Hi, Alex Brown. Welcome. One of my regular commenters. Almost 8,000 puffs on my gen and no problems. Yeah, no, no, no. No problems at all. The second photo, actually, which we want to show you regarding the vaporizer gen is what happened to a fellow South African. And he is... If you can have a look at that picture, I'm just going to enlarge it. Now, his 510 became loose, which meant that this atomizer started to wobble from side to side. And when he opened up, um, he saw that the 510 was press fitted, that it wasn't held in place by screws. So all he did by those little red arrows, which you see, is he took a glue and he just made two little drops on each side and he waited a um, couple of minutes for you to dry and then it was stuck obviously something like super glue but super glue is a bit there's a problem with super glue don't use super glue use an epoxy or something like that but yeah but i i haven't had mine come loose at all not yet though so that is the only two issues which i know has has arisen in the meantime from the vapor research gen um Pilot boy for a single battery, the vanity vape jackaroo. Okay, I don't, I don't know about that. But if you say it's cool, it's cool beans. Did you have any issues with the Toran One jumping? No, not at all, not at all. My Toran One hasn't given me any issues. No, there it is. So no, none at all. But while we're on the Toran, if we just minimise this, you can probably see your online chats over there. Um, while we're on the Torrent, this guy was having a tight draw and I couldn't understand why. So I did it, totally built the thing over and it still had a tight draw. And there's only one thing which I could think that would be the problem are those honeycomb slits. That juice actually got dry inside those honeycomb slits and then thickened and blocked some of them. So what I did is I went to the basin and I put in a lot of hot water and I let the building deck line that hot water with the coils and just remove the cotton for probably about 10 minutes. And then I blew from the top and I blew from the bottom and I let it lie again for a minute. And then when I built it again, all of a sudden, the air flows back to normal. So yeah, if you've got a torrent, then that could be an option. Just look, looking at that airflow. Just look. <laughs> lekker man, lekker, five plekkers. <laughs> yeah, nice. Okay, um, I did the UK NHS Vape Advisor course. They call it ENS for Electronic Nicotine Delivery System. So Phil, Phil he's also on the board. He would be able to fill us in with a bit of Nick Sol's information a bit later. But I'll talk about that. Do you have cust do you, you make custom vapes? No, 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 no. I make custom vape juice. <laughs> but no, I, I don't make custom vapes. I've only designed an atomizer, which I would love somebody to give me information of where I can get this thing built. Even though even if it costs me two thousand land to build build it, I, I would pay that though, because I just think it would be a nice one. But no, not at all. Um, from Mr. Van is in the house. Hi, everybody. Um, when's the review coming on the Breeze next? Um, when you talk about the upgrade of the Breeze, the new Breeze, which has been released. Um, I haven't ordered that, though. I haven't heard anything from that. 
Personally, I think that those disposable uh, pods like Juul and Ice Cream are really bad. I didn't know these guys were disposable. When Twist contacted me and said they're going to send this to me, I asked them for a link to the page where I can actually get information on the product. And they never gave me a page. And then this package arrived. And then I saw that these pods were disposable. And as a rule, I don't like to review disposables simply for the fact that a lot of people probably don't know how to dispense of disposables. But if you know about recycling and if you know how to decently get rid of this, um, then, then there's no issue. It's just that the majority of the people. So I just feel I, I don't want to promote stuff like this. But I have to say in all honesty, this guy's got very nice flavor for these pods. But as I said, unfortunately, you, you're stuck to a certain amount of flavors, which you're stuck to. But it's, it's an awesome little device. I've got to say it works extremely well. Very minimalistic, but yo, smooth in the hand. Smooth in the hand. Okay, let's quickly move on to the next topic over here. So off from the gin. And let's just hope our gin doesn't give, give us these issues which these guys had. Now the next little one is this monkey nut. This is the new pot system from UL. Okay, let's just move it there. Now it's called the Yearn, and I think it's an 11 watt pot system. Now I, I don't understand why UL decided to bring out this guy. Now number one, it's also got pots which are pre-filled. It does not have the refillable option. That's the first thing. The second thing is, this guy might be a bit smaller. Not by much. If you talk about tallness, it is a bit shorter. But when it comes to width and, and depth, it's very much the same. But its battery is a lot smaller as well. Now you've got the you've got the Caliburn, which already has got great flavor, which feels great. And the interesting thing is, although this guy is slightly larger, it's also lighter. And it's refillable. So Lord knows what they tried trying to do with this guy. <laughs> I've got no idea. But in any case, I thought I'd just bring that up. Maybe somebody of you actually have ordered this thing or have already got this this uh, yen pot system from UL. But no. Are you more of a direct lung guy, mouth or lung? No, oxto meat, no, direct lung. Absolutely. But as I said, so sometimes I'm in a situation, I just want to minimize this little monkey nut, close them, get it out of your faces, in case it irritates you. Um, I'm definitely, definitely direct lung, for sure. I love my direct lung. And by the way, you'll also see another sponsor at the top over there, which is Vipology. And they also sent me their range, of which this guy is a different type of lime from what I've tested, but it's a very nice lime. Hence the big bottle. So I really like the lime. And then they've also got these two flavors. These are, uh, they're all Slurpees, Slurpees. It's basically like a slushy, okay? They're also a bit of cool coolness to them. But yeah, this is a, a cherry type of situation, a cherry Slurpee, and this guy's a grape Slurpee. And then there's a blueberry Slurpee. Now these two, I'm not too fond, fond of. I don't like these, these guys too much. I've had better of both, which is available on the market. But the blueberry slushy and the lime slushy, they good. So you local South Africans, you can check out those two. They are nom nom. I think Brothers Vape Lounge also got one of those little guys. So yeah, so to make a long story short, Oxtail, direct lung mostly. But sometimes I'm in a situation where I just like to take that. But then, then I will actually use this guy. The Jewel, ah, oh, remember the Jewel, Jewel sucks as balls. Then I will use this guy. <laughs> the twist click it is really really nice so smooth and being this guy's got the 30 milligrams in you feel it you feel it and that does it for you for the next 30 minutes and you're fine um, I haven't had the twist cue um, Ronaldo um, I've never tasted this is the first twist product which I've ever tasted now in the beginning, when I started vaping, I actually wanted to buy a Twist product, but it was way too expensive. I thought the pricing was ridiculous. So I just never got around to going for, for Twist. And then they actually contacted me and decided to send me this. And then I said, sure, you're welcome to. And um, that's a great pod. It's absolutely a great pod. 
Um, how does it complete the queue? Okay, very few places can recycle mixed metal, plastic, and, and weak item. Yeah, I'm fortunate enough that at the school, we have got different bins um, for glass and for paper and for plastics and for foil. Um, so, so, yeah. So I can just take take this and just go and drop it in there. And hopefully from there on it goes to the correct places. But yeah, not everybody has that. So let's check out number next. What is topic number four? Oh, it's our little friend over here from Mech Life. Now this I really want. Okay. And if you have a nice look over there. The reason why I want this is twofold. Number one, it takes an 18650 battery, which means that this, in, I'm not a big fan of these internal batteries. Just now we're going to have a look at the Orion, Lost Paper Orion, which actually exploded in a guy's gene, and it did, it did. I read the whole guy's story though, and he's got more than enough photos which he posted, and the guy's also got a credible vape history, so he knows what's going on. And the mod was off. I initially thought the mod was on and actually pressed against something and then overheated and blah, blah, blah. And this guy just suddenly vented in this guy's pocket. Uh. So anywho, but this guy being an 18650, that's the one thing. And if you look at the deck over there, except that it's rebuildable, which is obviously a bonus, you can actually see two airflow. You've got airflow from the bottom and you've got airflow from the side. Now, ain't that just peachy? Ain't that peachy? Um, the Renova Zero also also have not seen it though. but then again I won't I won't buy it for the simple reason is that it's not something which draws my attention if I get sent it I'll review it but as I said having the Aspire AVP this guy and it vapes extremely well and then this guy as well which is my first rebuildable which I actually got and then this piece of crap, which has got no flavor at all. And then we've got the Caliburn, which you've already seen. And then we've got the Smock Nord, and we've got the Smock Novo, and we've got the Lost Vape Orion, and we have got this little sweetness as, as well. Um, yeah. Ah. What is the other going to offer you what these guys don't offer you already? So that's the whole point. And that's why this guy actually intrigues me. Which I thought that that guy would be a great op option to actually have simply because of the 18650 and here you go, here you go, and the fact that it's rebuildable and it's got airflows from two sides. So I'll definitely give go and the spe specific green one, I'll definitely give it a mash. I think it's lacquer. Do you have an all day vape or do you vary flavors all day? Mm. Um, all day vapes re is restricted to fruits. When I vape something, and I mean, Vapor, Vapor Mountain also brought out these two. And actually, I actually had this guy because I think it's steeped enough. Okay, let's just show you nice and closely so you can actually see what this is. There you go. It's a creme de malfa. So, it is nice. Malfa custard, I think. Okay, malfa custard, yeah. You know the brown pudding that you get with the custard on top of it? That's very really nice. So, I always go to the desserts for a nice tank to relax with a nice coffee after work. But through the day, I vape fruits. There's only fruits. And the fruit which I vape the most, I just can't get over fruity. This thing, fruity, is just awesomeness. This one which I, I can vape it the whole day. Not because it's only mine. But because it's a peach and apricot, it's just something which I enjoy a lot. And that's why I decided to make it there. But fruits, mm. I've got a very nice pineapple and mango, which is also by called porcupine, which I vape a lot. And then I've got a mango on its own, and then I've got a lychee ice cream. So I enjoy it. So yeah, that's like it. Okay, let's see what is on the next topic. Let's quickly check out. Ah, yeah, there it is. There's a picture <laughs> if you want to see what a Lost Vape Orion looks like after its battery exploded. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and as I said, um, I'm also including the guy's Facebook page at the bottom after I've uploaded. Then you can go and check it out and read the guy's story. 
before you actually judge. Because I know a lot of these things, the people don't know what batteries to put in. They don't know what atomizer resistance is to work on the mix. They don't know sure what atomizer is, hybrid safe and what is not. And then the thing explodes. But in this guy's case, mm -mm. Yeah, on ground distribution, you can actually bring in the urn. Um, if there's any vendors, Shane, you, I know you're a vendor as well. Um, Homegrown distribution, distribution is, is new on the scene. So go and check out the web page or the Facebook page and then you can see maybe there's something at a pricing which is better from what you normally actually get. But yeah, anyone that supports my channel is worth supporting, right? <laughs> so in any case, pineapple and grapefruit, fruit, um, I've never tested that combination, never tested them. I'm working on a, a, a lovely passion fruit, which I'm almost finalized. I've got the label already. Let me quickly show you the label, and you decide what you think of the label. You can criticize me. Be critical, but don't be an asshole. <laughs> Just be critical and give me constructive criticism. Okay? So this is just an idea I've been toying with. Let's quickly see, where did I put that logo? Okay, it's on my desktop, it's on my desktop, it's on my desktop. Okay, almost, 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 almost. What do you think of that logo? Of that, uh, not logo, I mean sticker. For my juice. For my second one, my passion fruit. Is a noise. Would, would you want to buy this thing? Does it look delicious? Because it is delicious. The passion fruit is very, very nice. I like it. I like it a lot. So I just thought there isn't a nice passion fruit out there which I've tested. Um, there is a, there's a passion fruit combination with another fruit which I've, I've seen, but not one on, one on its own there. Ah, Shane. Nice. Yepa. The reason why I called it Yepa is because uh, there's two, two, twofold again, twofold. Um, there was a band called BZN, Band Zonder Namen, um, a Dutch band, and um, they brought out a song called Yepa. And because I'm also focusing on yellow passion fruit, I thought Yepa would be a cool name, would be a lacquer name. Yeah, the gen, uh, yeah, I'm going to watch the gen, the gen section, but as I said, the, the issues which actually brought up with the gen um, is not issues which I have had, and I know Bartek also uses his gen a lot, and he also hasn't picked up any issues on that. Uh. Okay, so let's just get up on our OBS picks again. Let's continue and see what is on the next up. Uh, I wanted to show you this guy's burn, burn as well. You can actually see it's 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 a bad burn which actually got through the pocket. That's that's his leg, which just got there. So yeah, as I said before, you judge and say this guy's an idiot and blah blah blah. Just go and read the guy's story, and you will understand that sometimes it happens. Okay, you you hear batteries also explode. That is just something which happens occasionally with internal batteries. You get that dud. Absolutely. All right, um, number six. Let's see what is going on here. Okay, now number six is a bit of a free base situation. Okay, now if you have a look there. I had a question on one of my videos where somebody asked me if I don't want to talk about the difference between free base and salt mix. Now, I will share what I think I know about it. Though. But if there's anyone in the chat that knows more, you're actually super welcome just to add your um, content on, on this. Now, the first thing which I know is very difficult to extract pure nicotine out of tobacco leaves. Very difficult. And then there was Philip Morris, scientists from the Philip, Philip, company Philip Morris, which also owns Marlboro. And these guys managed to treat um, nicotine with ammonia. And the problem they had with pure nicotine is that it was very difficult to absorb into the bloodstream. And these guys figured out that if you actually treat it with ammonia, then you make it easily, more easily absorbable into the bloodstream. 
So yeah, and that is what gave Marlboro a big push, bringing out the cigarette with, that's going to give you a quicker hit. And then the Oaks decided, but no, there must be a better way, because it gives you a harshness. And then some guy figured out that if you actually add, and the other problem with, with freebase nicotine, that was what was called freebase nicotine, is um, it still had a high alkalinity, that freebase. It was a strong base. And that's why if you use freebase nicotine, a lot of people are sensitive to it. And that's why you'll also see on the table that they say that under peppery taste, that freebase nicotine tends to give you a peppery taste. It's very harsh. Okay, it's very harsh. So what those guys did is they actually took that freebase nicotine and they figured out when they treat it with benzoic acid, combine it with benzoic acid, then it brings down the alkalinity more to neutral. Okay, but not removing the potency of the nicotine at all. And that is what gives you the smoother vape. That's why you can take pot systems with 30 milligrams of nicotine and actually vape it. If you, <laughs> if you take 30 milligrams of freebase and put it inside a juice, I can guarantee you, you're going to cough. I can guarantee you're going to feel something in the throat. You're going to know about it, put it that way. So that is the big difference. And salt nicks, because it's got such a high nicotine ratio, you are not supposed to use it with these kind of atomizers, with these, with RTAs or RDTAs or, or um, um, RTAs. No, 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 no. That is where pot systems come in. Where pot systems are specific, specifically designed to heat it up at a very low temperature, releasing the nicotine, and then that nicotine can up. So that's another difference between salt nicotine and free-based nicotine. You need a much lower temperature to actually um, release that salt-based nicotine. And it gets absorbed into the blood a lot quicker, and it gives you a much quicker a hit as well. And hence, you don't vape as often. So you also save on juice with salt nicks. But there are people that don't like salt nicks, and there are fans of salt nicks. So you decide which one you want to go for, though. I enjoy my flavor. Flavor, you, you're never going to get flavor out of a pot system, which you can get out of this, because you have got airflow, because you have got surface area with these guys. So that is a big difference. That's why I will use this guy mostly 99% of the times, and this guy will use 1% of the time. But yeah, look at that table. If there's anything which I missed regarding those two, you're absolutely welcome. Um, passion fruit, mango, and grapefruit by Ruthless is good. Okay, thanks, thanks, uh, Sabin. I'll have a look at that. My peach and mango with cream is approved by vaping with Vic, who is fairly picky. Oh, well done, Philly. I assume that recipe is not shareable with the rest of us. Am I right? It just clearly minimizes now that you've actually seen that. Make it nice and small. So you can see my beautiful face. First grenade is a passion fruit. Okay, nice. Greetings from Germany. How are you doing? Um, Detlef, very well. I'm doing very well. Thank you very much. I think they should use the same internal as on drones, widely available on replacement. Easy plug-in, high current, and you can expect for swelling, swelling probably of the lipo um, by something a couple of screws out, omitting probably, I'm not sure. Um, favorite pot system? Well, currently it's this. Believe it or not, the one from Twist, but, but it won't be available. Well, I'm not sure if Twist exports, but if you guys vape on this thing, it's unbelievable how smooth that is and the flavor which you get. The problem only is you're restricted to certain flavors, but they will bring up other flavors as well. But the flavors aren't bad. There's a nice coffee. There's a nice tobacco. There's a, a nice uh, fruity one. There's icy apple and grape. Is there as well. And then there's another... Nomi situation over there. Lemon and raspberry as well. But they will probably bring out more flavors. But this is a very nice pot system. But besides this, Caliburn, um, Aspires AVP, and the Smoe and Pasito. So yeah, these guys are all great pot systems. I love, just love the look of this guy. Just look at the clouds. <laughs> Hi, TJ Van Toner. So it sounds like you're in class again. 
Um, Saltnik works in MPL setup at 12 watts. It's perfect. Yeah, but there, that's why I said Saltniks are specifically designed for power systems at low temperatures. And it's going to give you a nice kick. Absolutely. Would you recommend getting one because I'm looking for something compact? Pilot boy, how old are you? I'm not going to recommend anything to anyone under the age of 18. You've got to listen to the big men around here. <laughs> but if you're still at school, I cannot, cannot uh, answer you. Um, what are your thoughts on the snow wolf now? Xbox never never saw that though. I know I saw I've s s I watched the uh, Jay's review on the purge pod, the one that opens up like a zippo. And that seems to have given him some problems. So I think I I'd, I'd give that a skip as well. <laughs> and then I just want to quickly show you a picture. There's a competition coming up. Now I'm not sure if me and Arnu are still judges, but we were asked to be judges at this competition. But just look at that setup. And this is coming Saturday. Now, if you don't go to VapeCon, which is this weekend, which is the biggest vape conference in South Africa, and a lot of people are probably going up, um, and you, somebody like me that's staying down here in Cape Town, Come pop in at Brothers Vape Lounge. They're situated very close to Tiger Valley, up in High Street, yeah? And, um, so, but look at that. You can get a full setup, and it's a cotton competition. You're going to wick, and you're going to check bubbles, and we're going to check for flavor, and um, all that kind of stuff. Saturation. And then the team that actually wins, wins the setup. Now, it is one of these. One of these guys which you win, which is a lot of money. I think the whole complete prize is around 6,000 Rand. But you'll see it's a Kodama, V1 Kodama, Reload RTA, and then two batteries, fused Claptons, pre-built set. So the whole set is good to go. All you need to do is get yourself juice and you're on your way. On your way. So yeah, we look at that. Um, I Sean. Welcome. If the main purpose of converting to vaping is reducing nick consumption, then free-based nick is not recommended, in my opinion. Um, yeah, well, and it also depends. I mean, I, I moved from smoking to um, vaping, and I was just one of the guys which continued into vaping. I'm starting out with these small little pen, thin pen crap, till ending up with these box mods, which I really like with rebuildable atomizers on top, giving me clouds and great flavor. But then it becomes, becomes a hobby. But if you're a transition, if you're a smoker and you go off smoking, I would far more recommend you get somebody on something like this. Okay, remember, a cigarette gives you a hit. And if you give get these guys, the amount of vapor which you get, which often happens, is these guys start coughing. It overwhelms them. Whereas this, still gives you that restrictiveness and the heat of what a cigarette actually does. So it's going to be easier getting off on an, on an MTL device, if that is what you mean. Yeah, um, Ibarpek is still in the chat. He should be able to tell you exactly what time that starts. But I assume um, it's going to be from, well, it's Saturday. So I've got no idea. Maybe he can tell you that. Yeah, Philly, I made a video of that. Um, I've got a video up on YouTube for the reason why I actually quit smoking. And, um, and I, I list a lot of the crap which is inside a cigarette. Um, I also teach my kids. It's, it's not the nicotine which is an issue. Um, what the nicotine is actually is a stimulant. And you, you, you might get... Not addicted, but you might get attracted, put it that way, to the, the higher metabolism, which a stimulant like caffeine or nicotine actually gives you there. But there's far worse components in cigarette smoke than what there is um, nicotine. That is what nicotine is. I totally agree. Um, Tiana starts at 9 o'clock. No, no, not VapeCon. We're talking about that competition which I um, put up there, the one in, in Brothers Vape Lounge. So that's it. Here's VapeCon's banner in case you were wondering about VapeCon. Just stretch it out over there. There you can see. There is VapeCon. Fifth year in a row. Biggest vaping convention in South Africa and the dates as well. 
So that's all there. Might as well just leave that at the bottom. So you guys can see that. Lekkerman. Um, very familiar to caffeine? Yeah, it is. To some people, nicotine is a habit, and to others, it's an addiction. Yeah, that's what I said in, in the previous show, yeah. But you're only going to find out that if you try to quit smoking. If, 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 you're, um, if it's an addiction, you're going to struggle, and most likely you're going to continue smoking. It's very hard for one of those guys to stop smoking. But if it's a habit, if, if you're like me, that's climbed on vaping immediately and never gone back to a cigarette, then you know that nicotine was, was habit. Um, so no. So I'm happy. I'm happy that I don't have that specific issue. So anywho, that is that regarding all the little goodies. Um, hopefully, maybe before next Tuesday, I will be receiving um, my Blue Torn Beast. My stainless steel torn beast, because I had those, but I actually sold those. I'm getting new ones. And then maybe the Ages Legend Limited Edition mod will also be here there. Okay. And if I get those coils for this kit, um, oi, I'm going to give this kit up as a giveaway. Because, I mean, I'm not going to use it. I'm just getting those coils to put this in because I actually used one of those coils already. So I just want to include it in this. But this will also be a giveaway. And then, uh, yeah, you can have a look at that. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Very good flavor. No issues. You just got to get your own batteries. And Bob's your uncle. Um, Sean, I don't have a noisy cricket. I've, I've, I've actually vaped on a noisy cricket. I think it's a very nice device. It actually vapes great, feels great in the hand. But, yeah. I just enjoy my, my regulated mods, which I can see a menu and up and down and, and play around with it. But yeah, um, nothing wrong with the noisy cricket. Very popular. Hi, Vapology. There's, there's Vapology now. So yeah, I spoke about your juices a bit earlier. And uh, this and the blueberry will always be my favorites. These two might sell, but uh, I won't buy them. But this is more than enough to keep me happy, is this gem. But there's people that like. I think Barpeck likes the cherry. But it's just not profiles which I enjoy. But this and the blueberry. Bing! <laughs> it's, it's good stuff. It's good stuff, for sure. Um, sometimes it's not the nicotine that you're addicted to. It's the process. The handy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, just a question regarding those teens who were hospitalized. Were they like vaping dodgy stuff? Um, pilot boy, I said I will put the links to the articles concerning the reasons why these people got sick. And I would suggest you to go and read those articles, um, not just for yourself, but so you can also educate. We've got a girl that's staying in the outside flat, and she works just across the road, um, which is a hair salon. And I think that's one of the most dangerous people which you get, is those ladies which go and sit there, and then they're idle, and they need to talk about crap for an hour and a half or two hours while their hair is being done. And one of the ladies brought up these people that are dying. And then immediately blamed vaping. And she, she obviously has got no clue what's going on. So we have to educate the people. We have to tell them, but this is, that is the situation. These oaks were doing dodgy stuff. They had some THC mixed with grease and there was a botulin inside and there was cyanide whatever but what they were vaping were not regulated products okay um we're not deemed safe we're not constructed in a safe lab and that's why these guys got sick so now go and read those things um my apology samples of awesome juice and even i say oh, our if, if you don't like this You can send it to me and we can swap. I can give you one of these for 120 miles of that. But yeah, the line, the line is very good. Absolutely. They would, um, what will a uh, safe ohm range be in a serious mode? Okay, that's Sean, so you can answer that. Um, they were vaping just about every kind of rubbish that the vaping industry is fighting against, for sure. And I don't think these things were even sold in shops. They were sold on the street. After school today, I went to um, buy some dog pills for my labs. 
And while we're in the centre, I saw at the back of the standing over there and decided just to go in there and just go and check out what they have. I knew that the juices which they're going to have are going to be well-known juices, and I also knew that they're going to be clone juices. And they were. I mean, Cushman, Seminarian. <laughs> Where do you get that? And there's, there's South African brands there as well. And it's just crazy how cheap those things were. And the bottles obviously look so attractive. And now I just thought to myself, it's easy for us to distinguish between a clone based on the price. But if you take a kid which wants to vape, and that kid goes in there and checks out these wonderfully beautiful marketed bottles where the people smile on it, it's colorful, it's got tunish, it's juice dripping, which is in the design. Obviously, they're going to buy the stuff. And if they fall ill, that's what the mother's going to see in their room. That's what the friends are going to see on the bus is that bottle. And they're not going to know we bought it and they're not going to know that it's a clone version and that there's crap inside of that thing. And that's where our problem also lies. So yeah, when you buy stuff, just go to somebody which is reputable. The details of Brothers Vape Lounge Saturday is posted to the higher in chat. Okay, quite. So you can just scroll up and find that there. Um, we'll, we will be at VapeCon and we'll like to meet everyone. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, I've been to VapeCon. I'd actually like to go to VapeCon again. It's just very expensive. Very expensive. If uh, Shane's got place in his car, but I don't think Shane said he's going. I think Benji's going, but they're flying up. I think that. But yeah, it's great stuff. Are there any other questions? Do you guys enjoy the format? Do you, do you enjoy the relaxed um, setup which we have? Is there any recommendations? Things you want me to change? Another shirt, another hat. I've got a lot of caps. Um, then please, please um, add in your comments. I'm open. I'm open to anything. I mean, I'm almost fifty years old, so I'm not too bothered anymore about people criticizing me about things. Um, I wish I could, but it's a long way from the UK. My passport is out of date. Yeah, no, it is. But Vapecon is. It's it's nice to be there. Um, to have experienced it, and I have experienced it. My my problem is, um, I just don't like. I'm funny. <laughs> I think it's probably because I'm surrounded by kids every day. You've got every period. You've got this twenty five to thirty kids in front of you, and then in break times you see them everywhere, and it's teachers in the staff room. So I don't like a lot of people around me. Believe it or not. Um, so I prefer the smaller vape conferences like the one in Cape Town. That's not small. You can actually walk up to a booth and yeah, there might be three, four, five people, but you can chat. You don't have to wait that long and you can chat. Whereas on that side, because they've got so much specials and you should see when they open the gates, the people run. They run <laughs> to get into that hall. It's crazy. And when there's giveaways, when they throw stuff from the stage, it's like an Edgar's Red Hot sale. <laughs> like Black Friday. Is so, they, they, they drone in the front. So yeah, the crowds are enormous. So if you like a lot of people around you and you don't mind waiting to get to the front and testing something or asking a question to a vendor about a product, then Vapon's absolutely for you. There's a huge variety. There's numerous vendors and there's a lot of international vendors as well I know Vaporiso is going to be there and they're going to have some nice gens there on special they've already given away I think three Spermokepi Bokka are there any international viewers which actually support the Springboks it's just for the sake of interest or don't you guys follow rugby or you're more into the soccer or more into golfing or tennis uh, anything like that i'm not sure if you're aware but your audio is duplicated and we are hearing it twice yeah no i am aware of that but uh we decided to rather continue instead of restarting the stream the guy said it's fine they can live with it after three years of first production the mini can be two is still valid close to perfect only 10 us dollars and under version 3, in my opinion, um, means it better going. Definitely. 
um, there's a lot of there's a lot of good mods out there. There's a lot of very good mods. And I know Wismic also got a stand up mod which is still going. Um, the top side is still a favorite under people. The ages, as I said, is just a go to for many people. Oh, there's just so many. The drag, you see a lot of drag still around. It's just you just can't beat them up type of mods, which will just stay. They're legends. They they just become legends. Absolutely. But yeah. So yeah, I think I've shown you what I wanted to show you this evening. And I think I've chatted about it. Do you like the fact that there's topics which we're gonna cover and chat about other nonsense as well? We can do that though. I think it's very nice. So I'll do some research, I come across something interesting, um, and then pop it in there and we can talk about it and show you the pics, whatever, so you would be aware of those little things. Maybe a lot of you, maybe some of these stuff are old. You never know. You never know. So yeah, I just want to don't want to hold you up anymore though. It's been an hour, and I want to thank you very much. I try to always keep it in an hour, so that you guys can still have time to go and play with your kids, still have time to get your admin in order for tomorrow, and not blame me. When something goes wrong. So yeah, appreciate it guys. Thank you very much for, for joining. Um David Nadia, I'm I'm think I'm testing the last recipe at the moment, the last alteration, put it that way, of Yepa. <laughs> There's Yepa. <laughs> and um I'm unhappy with it, but the one guy which I actually everyone which tested it really liked it. And then the one guy said, I'd like me to bring out the passion fruit a bit more. So I decided to, to remake it slightly there. So when I'm happy, it should be good to go. Hopefully within the next week, I'll get the stickers printed and get the bottling under underway. But yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I like passion fruit. Um, one of the stuff which I drank as a student was, um, was passion, passion fruit, lemonade and vodka. So yeah, turn off the brandy and the coke or the beers. I walked around with that. I had a sweet tooth. I like walking around with Kahlua and milk as well, believe it or not. <laughs> but yeah, because of that, I really like my passion fruit. So I enjoy the flavor. So yeah, Moy Albert, yeah, you, you, you just missed us by an hour. <laughs> it's not too bad. Hopefully the sound will be correct next time. So I won't have that YouTube open and then close it. I think that's, that's the problem, which it has. So yeah, thank you very much for joining, guys. I'll see you next Tuesday evening at around 8 o'clock without an echo. Have a good night. Cheers. Sir.